What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's BTN14. We are up in our loft, and we are in Car Mechanic Simulator. We're coming up to the season finale here at BTN's Garage. We've only got about a month and a half to two months left in this restoration season. Well, let me rephrase that. We only have about two months till snow starts falling. And we've been pretty slow. The shop hasn't been doing too, too well the last couple weeks. Uh, our last restoration we did has paid the utilities and employee wages. And now a customer come up to me, found us on, <clears throat> on Google, and he has a fun little restoration project, which we'll go downstairs and I'll show you. You can kind of see. So basically, he's got three separate vehicles he wants restored they're all in deplorable condition and he wants them all done before the snow hits the ground so he can put them in storage and drive them next season <clears throat> yeah they're uh they're ugly i've got a little old mercedes here got a ford gt40 there nice little old Lincoln looking thing here old regal Lincoln baby so <clears throat> how we're doing it is we're all gonna start we're gonna start taking care of all three of them at the same time we're gonna get body work going we're gonna do body work on one suspension on the other motor on the other and we're gonna get all three of them done we got to get these out um, <clears throat> like I said two months max for three cars Already, this is a lot of work for <clears throat> even just one car in two months. But he wants all three of these cars done, and we're going to get started with them. Uh, we're going to start here with this motor. We're going to put a motor, get the motor and trans ready for this one. The Mercedes is going to do suspension, and the Ford we're going to have <clears throat> all bodywork done. So, without further ado, as soon as we get uh, the motor and the parts delivered, we will get started. And then if not, once that's done, I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. We're going to take all the motors out of all these cars. Get the junk old brake servo out of there. Pull the battery and the radiator. We'll throw this bad boy up on the lift. While we got that on the lift, let's, I took the whole front suspension out of here. We're going to pull the drive shaft out of the bends. Oh, yeah. We're going to take the gearbox out. And we can drop this bad boy and pull the motor out of this. Alright, well that's there. I'll move this over to car lifter A. Let's go ahead and lift this on up. We're going to go ahead and pull drive shaft, mufflers, anything we can get out. <clears throat> this is definitely a long project. It's going to be nuts. But I'm very glad this is definitely a very large contract for BTN's Garage. And I'm happy the gentleman decided to go with us. And what is this? Yeah, I'm very happy he went. decided to go with us in the garage. We're definitely going to hopefully make him happy with it. Now, he wants this stock. He wants this stock. This pretty much stock. But that Ford, he wants it mean. Which we've done the body work on it. Of course, there's not much to do. It's such a little, little car. But... We'll throw that up on the lift, too. Alright, we're ready to pull this motor out. Motor's out of the bends. We're going to take the old air filter, the old base out, the rad, the brake servo. We're going to move this over to car lifter C. And I think we'll take these big old fat juicy tires off the back. Oop. So we can pull out the transmission. 
I messed up. My mouse is a little wonky tonight. I apologize. <clears throat> Let's see. We're going to take the exhaust off. Up on the lifter it goes. Man, this thing looks so weird without no wheels. Looks like a little boat, a little pa a little paddle boat, really. All right, we're gonna rip off the exhaust. We're gonna pull the rear axles out. Man, this is gonna be a fun build. This is gonna be the one we're gonna put most of our time in because this thing is gonna be sweet looking. We're definitely going to have the most time money in this. Like I said, he wants it to be race ready pretty much. Which I can deal with. We'll definitely we'll make a dyno very high. All right, we got motors and trans pulled out of everything. God, that looks so weird. We got the motor delivered for this bad boy. We're going to get the motor built in it and ready to go once we do the front suspension on this and uh, as soon as we get it done we'll be back alright guys we're back here we got the motor getting put together it's coming along slowly for this old Lincoln here we got front suspension done on the bends it's getting ready to we're waiting on rear end parts now those are gonna be coming in um, parts for this are on back order so they're about two weeks out so we're gonna try to get this body work done on these two but right now we're gonna head to while we're waiting for our parts to get here we have a shipment coming a little later today for the rest of the motor parts the suspension parts for this and the rear end suspension for this while we're waiting we're gonna go down to the car auction see if we can't find a project car for the winter time to rebuild so uh, yeah my, me and my uh, head mechanic, we're going to head out and we're going to find something nice. And we'll be back. once. So we drove about an hour and a half to get here. Uh, first car up on the auction is a Porsche 911 Turbo. That's a good car. I don't know if I, I really feel like dealing with a Porsche. Not something I'm into. But we'll see what the next couple cars look like. I seen something on the uh, flyer that caught my eye, so I'm really excited about it. Oh man, look at that motor in that old cape. That's sexy. But no, we're gonna pass again. What else do we have rolling up on the auction block today? Ooh, that's decent looking, almost like a little Audi. But of course, that's not what caught my eye. Alright, perfect. My car's coming up next to the auction block. There it is. Look at that. We had a nice Dodge Charger, or Dodge Challenger, pardon me, SRT Hellcat. Let's see if we can't bid this thing for a good deal. Alright, well, we made it home from the auctions. Um, happy to see as soon as I got back here, my package was here. But, look what we won at the auction. Man, that thing looks sweet. Let's pop the hood. Ooh, look at that Hellcat motor. Man, this thing is sweet looking. A little bit of body work to be done. We're definitely going to get some nice new shoes on it. So we might pull that motor out and freshen her up. Doesn't look too bad, but we might get some aftermarket parts on it. We got it for fifteen five. It was amazing. I can't believe we got it that low. But, yeah, we're going to get started on this. Body Man's been working on the Mercedes Benz. He's been welding in some new panels, and hopefully we'll have it done by the same time we get the suspension done. The motor will get done in this Lincoln, and then we'll put the front suspension on before we decide to drop in the motor. And we're going to try to get these two done first so we can take our time on that. And, uh, yeah, as soon as we get some suspension work done, and some more body work well, I'll be back all right so we got the rear end or the not the rear end we got the motor done we got the body work done on the Mercedes suspension is just about done we got the rear suspension to do 
And um, next up, we're going to get the body work done over here. Suspension, the motor is done. We could drop the motor in, and then we can get this one body panels ordered and ready to, for the paint booth. And while we're doing that, we're going to get the motor and the rear suspension done on this. And uh, last but least, we can get that. I think I'm going to call this one here. We got our new project car for the winter. We got body work done on two out of the three. We got suspension done. Almost done. And we got a motor done out of one out of three. So, yeah, next part is going to be our season finale. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.